Hi everybody, welcome to my wife's side of the garage, or as I like to call it, my workshop. I can't believe it's April 1st already. It's such a beautiful sunny day here in Georgia, I'd be a fool not to come out to the workshop and open the garage door and start working on a project. I hope all your workshops out there are thawing out and you can get out there and make something soon. Today I'm going to be making a faux side table. So let's head inside to the workbench and I'll show you my plan. All right, here's my measured drawing of the faux side table. As you can see, the overall height is going to be 21 inches, and the tabletop is a circle that is 14 inches in diameter, and it's supported by a single column with three legs at the bottom. Let's get started. I ran out to the dollar store, and I got some of this 3,000-year-old spalted bird's eye curly Spanish aromatic babinga that was pulled off a barn in Australia. And I've got this 1x8 board that's 3 quarter inches thick, and I've got a 4x4 four four here that's 2 feet long. And I think it's just enough for this faux side table. For the tabletop, I'm going to cut two pieces of this 1x8 to rough length at about 15 inches long. Alright, I'm going to use Type Bond 2 to edge glue these two boards together for the tabletop. While the tabletop is over on the workbench drying, I'm going to tilt my table saw blade to 45 degrees so that I can trim off the corners of the 4x4 and save some time over on the lathe. Alright, I've got the 4x4 mounted on the lathe between centers and at this point it's just like turning a very large spindle. Alright, now that the boards for the tabletop have dried, let's cut the circle out over on the bandsaw. Okay guys, I put the tabletop on this non-skid rubber mat so that I can use the router to round over the edges. So I'm supposed to put 220 of these in here? Maybe they go in this bag. Alright guys, I've got the round tabletop here and it's ready to go. And I've got this giant spindle column that I turned over on the lathe and it looks great. And I had just enough scrap to make these three pretty table legs. So now that I've got everything cut out and sanded with 220 grits, it's time to do some assembly. I'm just going to assemble it with some glue and a few brad nails. After 37 coats of spray lacquer, I ended up with a pretty nice looking faux side table. It turned out great and I'm really happy with it and my wife is going to love it. If you'd like to build one of these yourself, make sure you check in the video description for a link to my detailed plans. 
Even if you don't want to build one, uh, make sure you check that link and at least read the first page because it's got some important information that you're going to need on it. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching and please consider subscribing. And also click the like button on this video and share it with your friends. Uh, head over to Facebook and like my Facebook page. Uh, also, you can go over to Twitter and follow me there. Add me on Google Plus as a friend. And then you can go to MySpace. I think I've got a MySpace page. And you can friend me on MySpace. Uh, and head over to Lumberjocks and you can add me as a buddy. And also follow me on Tumblr. Uh, go over to Etsy and visit my Etsy shop because I've got lots of projects that I've made up for sale on Etsy. And you can also favorite my shop on Etsy over there as well. Uh, head over to WoodTube sometime and you can watch my videos there too. And don't forget Pinterest. You can follow me on Pinterest. And over on Keek, you can subscribe and follow all of my 36 second video updates. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.